Okay, so this is the uh, seven minute gameplay showcase uh, at Rosa Isabella Street from Liza P. So let's watch it and do a reaction content. It's a cool looking puppet, sort of like a military sort of guy. That's dangerous. I love how the music really sets it. The atmosphere is great in this area. You might have missed it there, but he shot a little projectile out of his um, Legion arm and stuck that one. It's exploding right now. Um, yeah, the Legion arm, it seems like there's quite a few that you can trade out and use. Um, in the demo, we got access to two or three of them, and uh, they're pretty cool cool aspect of uh of gameplay combat you can change it up uh, kind of gives me Sekiro vibes in that way pretty effective on that one I love the swirling animation on that guy and the little top hat that's great Throwing bombs at you Okay, uh, when he, that blue, that blue, um, he did like a twirl and uh, sliced and it was blue. That usually means he's tapping into a fable art. Uh, fable arts are either attached to your blade or your handle. And um, so you can have two at a time and choose which one you want to use. But it uses a little bit of your fable art meter. Um, it doesn't show the, the HUD in this gameplay, but... Um, yeah, you you utilize that um, which you regain from from continuing to fight, and so you can use these fable arts every so often, uh, as long as you keep up the fight. And uh, I think that's really cool. It's like combat art in uh, Elden Ring. It's it's pretty neat. Anyways, here we go. That adds a lot to the combat. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. I find sometimes these like overland mini bosses um, can in the demo I found out that they can be just as formidable if not more formidable uh, in the right situation than the actual bosses I think I died more to one of the mini bosses than I did to to any of the other bosses maybe it was pretty close. But yeah, they're formidable. They're tough. Okay, so that was a cool fable art. It looked like it initiated with like a dodge roll and then it went into these slashes and the last slash was like red. So I don't know what that is, but it's neat. Okay, so another, uh, they pulled another one out of the Sekiro handbook where you just heard that really satisfying, like, ting. That was a, uh, that was a perfect parry. And uh, it does a lot of posture damage, so enemies have a posture bar that builds up, like Sekiro. Um, I don't think you can see it, but uh, I don't remember being able to see it when I was playing the demo. Maybe I just missed it, but yeah you perfect parry that builds up their groggy meter is what it's called in this game and um, also heavy attacks fully charged heavy attacks especially will also build up their groggy meter and then once they enter their groggy state um, you're able to do a uh, like a critical attack see right here that's exactly what's happening and you, he stood in this red circle that appeared and in that location, you have to stand in that location to uh, proc that that attack on some enemies. Okay, so this is a Stargazer from the demo. That's pretty much your Lantern in Bloodborne or your um, Bonfire or your Sight of Grace in Elden Ring. Just you can uh, I don't think you level up there. I think you have to go back to the main hub to level up, but you can reset the world there. It works exactly like a uh, Dark Souls game. 
Okay, so he changed changed his outfit. He has a great sword now. Looks like a different Legion arm as well. The the architecture is awesome in this place. These are super creepy doll puppies. Yeah, it's gonna creep me out. They have uh, puppet strings, visible. And I think she's probably controlling them. She's like the mother puppet. She's also tough and she doesn't stagger. Alright, yeah, there we go. Legion arm. You just chuck some poison. Something. Seems to be pretty effective. There's a. There's a strong. Fully charged heavy attacks to to deal. What's that symbol mean? Seems like maybe a pretty important place. The music changed. It feels relaxing, calming. It almost feels like the music in one of those like chill games that you would play. Yeah, that was relaxing a little bit. He just ripped the the door off of that safe. It's wild. Pretty strong. This guy looks like a pain. Or her skirt, rose in her hair. <laughs> Okay, it looks like he coated his weapon in that lightning. We got to play around a little bit with that in the demo. It works really well at staggering puppets. Seems to. Before he wasn't staggering at all. Okay, that was a cool uh, fable art to finish him off there. That's neat. If you can see that faint little white glow at the uh, bottom of the statue there. Click on those to get more information on what you're looking at. Like, you can read the plaque, different stuff like that. Oh, who are you? She looks like you're she's had a rough biased. time. Are you here to listen to my music? That great sword's so ornate. I can't sing anymore. It's so pretty. This petrification disease took away my songs. Okay, so it looks like he's changed um, changed outfits again. I think the fashion in this game is cool, and I think it's going to be like a big part. Um, it was pretty simple in the demo. You could just put on like an accessory and the main like suit. It wasn't like customized the top and bottom or anything like that, but I think the fashion is really, really neat. Um, looks like he has a big wrench, which looks cool. Definitely like a strength weapon. And uh, he's got that uh, legion arm that we were able to play with in the uh, in the demo. That it's like called the, it's called the puppet string. Shoots out like a, a grapple, and you can pull enemies towards you or pull yourself towards enemies. It's pretty neat. Just get into it. Um, what he's doing now? He's crushing some stardust or something, and it summons like uh, NPC helper in a boss fight. So it's definitely a boss room. with hanging puppets on stage, nice. It's like a playhouse. That's cool. That's a cool looking boss. See, there's this spectral helper going to town. I have no idea what that cube was. Absolutely no idea. Some sort of item, maybe? The bosses have a lot of uh, area effects. The movement of this boss is really cool with the arms, the vacuum arms and stuff. I think this is the uh, Puppet King. Oh, it looks like his helper got, got finished off.
That's cool. He used the Legion arm to like propel himself up there. See, if he stood in that red circle, he would be doing like a critical attack, but it looked like he decided to um, charge a Fable Art instead. That's cool. That's really cool. September 19th. That's coming up. Look forward to it.